I first was invited to China in 2014, and then I did a month's tour of China after I left higher, speaking tour. And everywhere I went, people said to me, everything you say is so Chinese. Everything you write in your books is so Chinese. And I thought, how can this possibly be? I know nothing about China. It's my first visit to China. And so I got curious. Why are they saying this? So I began to look at China's great classics, the works of Lao Tzu and Confucius, Mencius, Wan Yangming, etc. And I was amazed that the things I had been saying, strictly inspired by quantum philosophy, were almost exactly what China's great thinkers had always been saying. Uh, quantum physics tells us that we are part of the cosmos and nature, fully part of it. Chinese philosophy tells us exactly the same thing. Quantum philosophy tells us the best way to live is to follow the way of nature because we are part of it. Lao Tzu and Confucius, all the great thinkers say, the way of man is the way of heaven, i.e. the way of the universe and nature. I kept finding idea after idea after idea Quantum physics says the world isn't made of matter, it's made of energy. Well, Zhang Zai had said that in the 11th century. Lao Tzu had said everything is connected to everything. There's no such thing as separation. That's exactly what quantum physics says. So I realized that these Chinese thinkers of two, 3,000 years ago had been thinking quantum thoughts all those thousands of years before Western scientists discovered quantum physics. And the physics that the Western scientists discovered at the beginning of the 20th century is just Chinese thought expressed in equations and verified by experiment.